Welcome to our Kartik Inspiration. Today I'm going to share with you a little bit what Vrindavan life is like and what we can learn from the little uh, lessons which are in there. For some days I had heard sounds in the little hut where I'm performing my chanting and one day I saw a red, but someone else had also seen that nice fatty red. When I walked today by my bhajan hut chanting, I saw a scene I never forget. First a red jumped out of uh, the tree, it was my red so to say, don't ask me how it got there, and galloped away running for life and then the next moment a beautiful terrifying snake came out of that tree it hung its huge body down it still had its tail around one of the branches mm, uh, it had tried to catch the red but the red was out of reach the next moment the snake was on the boundary wall and it was gazing at me. <laughs> Maybe it thought the red could escape but this uh, person uh, won't be as quick as the red. Uh, I somehow pulled my eyes away from the snake and went to the gardener and the gardener came to look at it and then I've never seen someone run that fast. He ran uh, as if uh, the snake was behind him and came back with ten uh, other men. They made a lot of noise shouting and finally one of them catched them with a a special snake catching device. Mm. Then they brought the snake out of my little area where, uh, and asked me what we should do with it. And I uh, told them, bring it uh, in the fields. Whirl it around so that it loses its sense of orientation uh, so that it will not come back in case it likes uh, Japa chanting, but don't kill it. Later, when the atmosphere uh, cared, uh, calmed down and they had put some snake medicine in all directions, something which makes snakes don't like to smell, I sat and asked myself, what is it in snakes that makes them so feared? Um, and uh, I remembered a very telling uh, verse from the Bhagavatam. There the serpent Kaliya um, reflects about its own snake existence. Our very birth as a snake has made us envious, ignorant and constantly angry. Oh my Lord, it is so difficult for people to give up their conditioned nature by which they identify with that which is unreal. So here Kaliya Serpent says that uh, we are conditioned by our very nature and act in ways that are not uh, good. This is a general statement and specifically it said we snakes are envious, ignorant and constantly angry. I reflected more. Is there any way in which we can overcome the impulses born of our conditioned nature or do we have to always act like uh, uh, the body and the mind which we have 
uh, taken on. We constantly have to remain prisoners by uh, our external conditioning, our false nature. And uh, I reflected some more. No, by the process of bhakti, especially chanting, a true transformation of the personality can happen. What can happen is that devotion enters the heart where there was selfishness. An experience of Krishna can come to us where previously we only experienced the world of the senses. And then detachment from the harmful things which are uh, dominating our lives uh, can happen. Uh, especially when we do something that, like a delusion uh, of the holy names, where we immerse ourselves uh, and uh, allow that our new personality, uh, which is already there, is uh, awakened. See you for next Kartik Inspiration.